this is it's really a tool to help you merge um, what I call enriched data, data that you've added information to, categories, tags, um, in from, from one uh, spreadsheet into another. So it'll basically find matching records between what we call a source and a destination sheet, and it will migrate the data you've added in the source into a destination if it can find a match. Um, why would you want to do that? Well, <clears throat> we have um, many of our, our longest time users uh, started in what we called feedbot sheets. Um, they did not use the add-on to fill their sheets. Um, and there are some real advantages to being in one of our newer Tiller Money Feeds spreadsheets. Um, and so a user who had a long history in a feedbot sheet and is starting a new spreadsheet with a Tiller Money Feeds uh, spreadsheet might want to do that to basically move over, especially their categorization. Um, if you want to just start over in a, in a new clean sheet without losing all the data you've added, um, basically you can take your old sheet, just start a, a fresh sheet either with a foundation template or um, by creating a new sheet and linking your accounts. Um, and then again, migrate the data over so that all those transactions that fed into your new sheet have the data from your old um, spreadsheet. Um, and then also, if you if you happen to have two two accounts, like let's just say you had a business spreadsheet and I'm sorry, two two spreadsheets, a business spreadsheet and a personal spreadsheet, and for some reason you wanted to add information from the business spreadsheet into the personal spreadsheet, you'd be able to just link that account. Those trans transactions would come into the personal spreadsheet without uh, all the categories, um, and and then uh, you could use the migration helper to to pull in those categories. Um, what does the migration helper uh, migrate? Well, a lot of things. Um, I think the most interesting to most people is going to be the transaction categories. So when you put a category name in there, that'll come over if it can find a match. Um, if there are columns missing in your transaction sheet, in your destination transaction sheet, like let's just say you added a tag column, um, those, those will come over and populate. If you made splits using the Tiller uh, Money, or sorry, Tiller Money Labs uh, add-on splitter, those splits will um, be uh, recreated in the new sheet. Manual transactions using the Tiller Money Labs add-on um, will pull over. Uh, if you were using workflows like our import CSV workflow, like to pull in Amazon or PayPal or Venmo or Mint, those transactions that were put in by that tool will move over. Um, that's it for the transaction sheet, but on the balances sheet, if you create manual balances using the Tiller Money uh, Feeds add-on, um, those will pull over. AutoCAT rules uh, will pull over, and also if you added categories, um, uh, if you add categories in your old sheet that are not in your new sheet, you can pull those in as well. Um, so now I'm going to jump over to a demo. Let me see if I can do this. Um, and I'm going to show you basically two sheets that are, are pretty much the same, and I've tried to highlight the changes in orange so you can see um, some of the things that we talked about coming over. Um, here I have a destination spreadsheet um, that we're gonna merge this data into. You can see, first of all, that there's no categories here. Um, on this sheet, I've added, again, things I've added are in orange, the, the things that are different. First of all, this whole category is now is, is populated. This is our source spreadsheet. Um, this sheet also has a tags column. Uh, you'll see the tags column move over and where there are tags applied, you'll see them be applied. For example, this, this record here, it's 181.31 is the amount. Uh, you'll see that right here. Um, when we complete the migration, this will have a tag um, that says coffee next to it. Um, I've added a, um, a manual transaction here using the uh, Tiller Money Labs uh, manual transaction creator. This is like a check to a cleaner, say. This will come over. This is not in the other spreadsheet. This is a split here. Um, you can see the total here is like 190.16. In our uh, destination sheet, um, here it is. So this is an unsplit uh, Traders Joe's transaction, but here it has been split. That split will be recreated. This is a, um, an Amazon, uh, with, with the Amazon line item importer, this is what um, those records would look like. Those will come over as well. Um, on the category sheet, I just added one new um, category called startup um, that will get pulled into the category sheet. Um, and then finally, on the balance history sheet, um, I've got a, uh, a balance used, created on a manual account um, that will come over as well. So let's jump into the process of running this migration. It's, it's pretty quick and easy. Uh, although there are some options that may be a little bit confusing. So right now I'm launching the Tiller Money Labs add-on. 
And once this is open, we're going to go into the tools menu. Tools. And then in here, we're going to go into the wrecking ball section where we have kind of the extreme uh, features. Um, so utilities, and then finally migration helper. And the first thing it's going to ask us for, well, you can see some, some information about what it will move. Um, but the first thing it's going to ask us for is uh, a source spreadsheet. Um, so again, this would be your old spreadsheet uh, you're, you're moving data from. So I'm just going to copy this whole URL and I'm going to paste it right here. Um, and now here's the options. I think for most people, you can probably just press go. We've, I think we've done a pretty good job at setting defaults for you, but if you really kind of want to get in, um, uh, there are quite a few options, especially on transactions. And I'm going to talk through them hopefully uh, without, uh, without boring you on this. Um, the first thing is migrate columns. Um, this will take, for example, we created this tags column here. This will migrate that are not in the destination sheet. Uh, you can ignore here as well. Category, you have two options. You can overwrite always if you have a category or overwrite only when it's blank. So for example, if in my destination sheet, you can see I'm in destination here. If I had a category here um, and, and it found a match for this one, uh, when, when I ran the migration helper, um, this category would not be overwritten if or overwrite only blanks. If it's overwrite always, if it finds a match, it will always write the, the, um, the category from the source. Uh, other columns, again, this, um, this is, uh, if, if, a, if you, let's just say a note field, um, a note column were uh, available and we had that in the, uh, the source, it will overwrite either if it's only if it's blank or will overwrite if it, if it has data. We can choose to migrate splits or not migrate splits. And then here, um, this section, this is probably the most confusing section. Uh, this is manually created transactions. We talked about this one check from the cleaners that we created here um, using the, the manual transaction creator. When there's no transaction ID, most of the work, the heavy lifting of this add-on is done by basically matching these transaction IDs that are kind of unique hashes that come from Tiller Money feeds. So basically the add-on saying, I found this exact same number in the source sheet. So let's take, you know, for example, a category and move it over. Um, sometimes if you pull in uh, rows using a different tool that's not Tiller Money Feeds, like for example, the Amazon uh, line item importer, there's no transaction ID. So this is basically asking, do you want to pull in um, uh, transactions that have no transaction ID? You can, if you press ignore, um, they, they'll just be left just in the source. And then finally, other transactions. I'm not going to go into that too much, but um, this is basically uh, transactions that do have a transaction ID, um, but that but the transaction ID is not in the destination. This, this will start going faster now because balance history really doesn't have any options. It's just gonna pull over manual uh, balance entries like you saw here, this one here, um, manu from manually unlinked accounts. Categories, you have the option of um, merging categories that are missing in the destination, or you can just overwrite your, um, your categories in your destination sheet with uh, the, just the categories in the source. And then finally on AutoCAT, it will move over your AutoCAT rule sheet. As you can see here in this destination sheet, I don't have an AutoCAT uh, rule sheet. So that's gonna come over. Anyway, I haven't changed any of these defaults. Hopefully this gives you enough context to kind of understand what, what, um, what you are uh, migrating. I'm gonna press migrate now. It's processed. I think we have, we should check how many records are here. Oh, not too many. So this is gonna run pretty fast. It's 180 rows. Um, you can see it's already, this. we're in the destination, and remember I, I added that startup uh, column that has already come over here, and now it's probably working on this uh, transaction sheet. Over here, you can see it's added these columns here that were missing in the destination sheet. Um, and you can also see, remember we talked about this one, I can't remember exactly what the dollar map was, but I'm going to slide it over if I can. Uh, Remember there was that Trader Joe's one, well, here, I'll just go this way. This Trader Joe's one that was coffee, you can see it's kind of matched that up, added the column and then also added the tag. Um, you can see all these transactions have come in here. Um, the split, remember we had that $190.16 split from Trader Joe's, that's right here. So that has been recreated um, in, the, in the destination sheet. Remember we had the check to the cleaners here, that's come over. Um, 
and that one was with this uh, manual transaction ID. Um, and then in the balance history, remember we had that loan from mom and dad or loan from parents, and that has also come over. Um, so you get a sense that um, this is a way to basically synchronize um, older data that you want to um, sync up with uh, a newer spreadsheet. Um, so, uh, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's it. So if you have questions, um, about anything, please, please add those to the Q and A, um, and we can try to jump on questions first around the migration helper, if there are any. Yeah, feel free to type in your questions in that Q and A box. Um, and if you want to go ahead and type any question that you have, we'll just answer any around the migration helper first but we're happy to answer anything else that's top of mind too. This is a, this is a tool that I think we first shared um, maybe six months ago and uh, we've kind of been steadily trying to just make it um, more more reliable and kind of add a little bit more control through that option panel. It's a little possibly a little over complicated. Um, if you go into the community, um, well, actually, you know what? <clears throat> I think there's a link right in here. Um, so most of these workflows in Tiller Money Labs um, have a, a link into the community. Um, so you can hit here and you'll see effectively the documentation for the workflow. I see there's a question. I'll just jump. Yeah, up. we have a question from Mark. Um, he asks. If I added a manual transaction without using the migration, without using the manual transaction tool, will it include that in the migration? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you, it will still move over, but it will move over in a little bit of a different way. Um, most part of what what tells us um, part of part of our 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 um, how we create manual transactions is by creating a, a unique number for them preceded by the word manual colon in the transaction ID column. Um, if you left this blank, it would be moved over with these, um, with these uh, transactions that have no transaction ID, kind of like these Amazon ones are. Um, if, you, uh, if, you have, if you create it in our tool or if you made your own unique ID, um, then they would basically be kind of recognized as manually created and they'd be coming over based on this option, if that makes sense. We have another question from Mickey. Um, is this process only for prior feedbot or earlier tiller sheets, or could it be used to migrate exported data from another financial tool? If you were migrating from another financial tool, I would highly recommend um, the, uh, let me show you, let's go back here. Um, just in our tools menu, the import CSV line items. Um, this is basically, if you haven't seen this tool, I believe we have another uh, webinar on it. Um, so you could either see the documentation here or, um, or we can try and track down the webinar. Um, but you can see here, this imports um, from a lot of different data sources. I think the main advantages of um, using this tool or the migration helper um, to do these, these migrations is that basically they're going to do the, the heavy lifting of lining up all the columns um, for you putting data where it belongs, making sure the columns are fully populated, like let's just say with month and week information. Um, and so it, it'll, it'll kind of grease the skids, but also make sure that kind of the information is full and robust. Um, the migration helper, I think you could use um, uh, to take data, like almost like as a CSV importer, the column names will need to match up um, in your source data. And, um, and again, I'd, I'd recommend this if, if there is an importer for what your, 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 your data source. And, all, and it's not exclusively for feedback or old tiller sheets either. You can use it in, in newly created uh, tiller sheets as well. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't, I didn't catch that part of yeah, that. Yeah, no worries, <laughs> two part. Um, I think if, if for some reason you weren't happy with your sheet, you could just start a new sheet, link the same accounts, run the migration helper, pull the data over, and you basically have a from scratch sheet that maybe was you know, designed from the ground up the way you want. Um, yeah, while we're, we're waiting, if there are any more questions, I was just going to show, uh, again, the documentation for these and kind of other Tiller Money Labs tools are in the forums. Um, 
and then often there's kind of threads with lots of, uh, of questions. Most of the Tiller Money Labs um, add-ons also have this kind of ask a question. If you want to get help in the forums, it kind of gives you a little shortcut to, to get your questions started and put in the right place. You know, I have a question about, you know, I was in the import CSV line item. It kind of gets you started, organizes the, the help request for you. Are there any further questions from anybody? Yeah, if we, uh, if we don't have any more questions, we can just end early. Um, and uh, as always, um, our whole team is in the forums uh, pretty often. So if, if something occurs to you just after this session, um, please just ask in the forums and we'll, we'll help you out. It looks like we got another one, Krista. Yeah, we do have one more question. Um, it's not related to the migration helper. Do we think there will ever be a financial coach portal of some sort? Um, we would love that to be possible in the future. Um, working with financial advisors, coaches um, is something we would love to do. We don't have an ETA or a specific timeline for when that might happen. But if you haven't joined the um, financial professionals group in the Tiller Money community, um, we'll include a link to that in the notes that will go out in tomorrow's email. Um, but that's where you can find our current best resources that we have for financial pros. All right. Well, if that's it, why don't we wrap here? Thanks, everyone, for good. joining. Um, we hope it's helpful. And again, please, ah. if you have any, any follow-up questions in our forums and we'll get back to you quickly. All right, take care.